What you guys got another software review here for you. This one is called Zimana Anti Malware. Now, Zimana Anti Malware you can get from Zimana.com, and uh, basically, once you get here, you can download it and you will get a 15 day trial. Now, you can purchase it for $19.95, but they're also running uh, at the moment a beta registration where you can register by putting in your email and also joining their Google group. And if you do that, you'll get, I think it's a year's license or an unlimited license. I'm not too sure on that. You have to check out that before you do that. Uh, there's plenty of information on the internet about it, okay? Now, what is uh, Zimana Anti-Malware? Well, basically what it is, is a second opinion clown-based multi-engine malware scanning tool, which is going to work in a similar way to Hitman Pro and tools of the like, okay? Now, basically, once you get infected, you can run this tool and uh, it's going to start detecting um, some nasty malware on the system by using certain types of engines and I'll talk about those in a second. Let's take a look at the actual program. As you can see it's very plain and very basic uh, to look at which makes it nice and simple so there's nothing too complicated here to look at. You can see it's got a very simple uh, user interface. You've got this drag and drop scan your files here so you could just drop in a malware or, or suspicious file into here and it will scan uh, against uh, the cloud and uh, it will go up on the cloud and scan against all the engines that it has in its arsenal to see whether that file is safe or not. Now down here you've got a little drop down menu smart scan and deep scan okay and I've left that on smart scan for now we've also disabled Windows Defender uh, you could leave Windows Defender enabled uh, we're on a Windows 8 machine or Windows 8.1 and you could leave uh, Windows Defender enabled I'd advise you to we've just turned it off so we could uh, put some samples on it and have a test because uh, Windows Defender is going to detect those as well okay so as you can see here uh, we've got the system status is clean and also the last scan was today uh, the free trial which is for 15 days you can activate it now as I said you can go through the process of getting the beta license and that will allow you to do that also now also you can see here uh, the last update check which is today so you've got your home page here which brings you to this page you've got your little cog here which is your settings page click on that and this will open up your settings and you can see display uh, the tray notification that's basically down on the bottom right hand corner here your scan feature here is what you want to scan like uh, ie deep scan or smart scan and you can put it on startup system startup or every day Monday Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever you want to do there um, and you can do a time so if you change the time obviously you would then be able to change the time when you want to start it up okay but we're going to do it on system startup again you can create a restore point uh, be, before you clean or detect any objects that's always a uh, advisable to do that just in case something goes wrong here exclusions is your exclusion area where you can exclude certain file types and stuff like that if you wish um, again you can right click on here and you can exclude a file or a folder if you've got say work and stuff like that that you don't want it to uh, bother with or if you've got a, a load of tools on here if you're a, a tech and you're using this and you don't want it to detect false positives you can always add a, an exclusion in there for that folder okay engines again a good array of engines here as you can see some of the best ones on the market you've got Kaspersky um, you've got their own uh, Zemina uh, engine here as well you've got Kaspersky ESET as well which is one of my favorites again AVG Bitdefender so you've got three big powerhouses here and also Avira which is pretty decent as well so these these uh, ones here are really decent engines in my opinion so you've got these up on the cloud that it's going to scan against as well which is a really good feature check for updates again it, we're on the latest version here advanced gives you a little bit of a warning um, but you can say I've got it and have a look in there if you're okay with that I'm not sure why uh, that would be uh, a bit of a problem but you can see here auto upload auto launch in case you turn these off really I suppose uh, but again uh, show all browser extensions again you can use use this as well if you wish uh, this is off by default so we're going to go back to here on the next tab here and this is your quarantine 
area you can see there's no quarantine files in here this is where you would put your activation key so if you signed up for their registration for their beta testing program you could also get your license they will send you a license and you can put it in here and then you can activate and it will tell you how many days you've got or how long you've got on that license uh, the buy now buttons here you can go on to the next stage which is your uh, scan logs as you can see and you can see the scan results we've only just put it on here and it says it's clean now you can see there is uh, pretty much a simple uh, usage of this uh, program it's not it's not too difficult to work out how to use you can zoom in and out on the side here uh, but pretty much that is it in a nutshell so you can see we've got a folder on here and it hasn't detected nothing because it's not running uh, not scanning as as a real-time scanner it works on a basis of when you scan uh, the actual files or when you run a scan so if I run a scan now on my system it would start to detect these okay so just bear that in mind there so let me just quickly open this up and uh, get on with the scan so what I'm going to show you here is the drag and drop feature really first so I'm going to pull this to one side here and if I pulled this into this area here you just drag this in and it will start to detect stuff on the cloud okay and it will scan against all those engines and find out what's bad and what's good and what's uh, uh, safe okay in there now obviously uh, some of these files uh, may be old or new and it will try to find all the latest uh, nasties on your system and remove them for you as you can see now we could go next here and clean all these off uh, there is some others inside here that has detected okay but it's a second opinion scanner as well as you can see uh, I'm just going to quickly go back here and uh, I'm going to say no here. I don't want to apply these actions because I don't want to remove them. I want to carry on with the uh, test. But basically, as you can see, pretty easy to go here. Now, also, you can right click on an area and scan with this Ze uh, Zemina anti malware, like so. And this will run a scan on there. Let me just quickly do that for you. And this will also then open up a scan as you can see like so pretty straightforward stuff so i'm going to quickly um, close this off now and we'll install some uh, malware on the system and then we'll run a scan with the zemina anti-malware to see whether it uh, detects the uh, files that are on the system okay so now we're going to do a scan with Zemina anti-malware I've already infected the system I've not gone too mad with the infections just put a few malware on here just to show you how it works but basically uh, what it's doing now is it's gone red and it's saying the system is infected and uh, it wants to run a scan so we're going to run a scan with smart scan here it'll check the uh, system integrity and then do a full scan on the system and scanning uh, certain areas of that system by using the smart scan feature now you can also do a deep scan if you want to if you've got um, files all over the drive you can do a full deep scan of the drive and that will probably scan a bigger area okay now smart scan is going to go to the normal locations where malware resides i.e temp folder and uh, roaming and places like that okay so we'll just let this finish and it is quite a fast scan so it shouldn't take too long but it may vary with your machine depending on how many files you have and how big your drive is so we'll just let this uh, run and uh, once this is done we'll find out what's on here okay as you can see there the scan is pretty quick it's took two minutes and 17 seconds to do that scan and it's detected a quite a bit of stuff there which is pretty nasty as you can see so what we want to do is make sure everything is quarantined here and then we're going to remove those from our system it's going to create a restore point and then clean all of these off the system so I'm going to go back here and now it have gone back to here and it's saying the system status is clean so I'm going to close this off and then we're going to run a quick scan with Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes to see whether it detects any other stuff on the system so let me get those installed and then we can run a quick scan with those okay so I've got those installed now and I'm running a scan with Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes and we'll just let this uh, scan complete here 
I'm also doing a quick scan with Malwarebytes just to make sure that the system is clean. Okay, so we've got the Ask toolbar on there and also a couple of tracking cookies, which isn't so much of a big deal really. It should be able to deal with these types of things pretty easily. So we'll just let this uh, run through. No threat results found, i.e. because this is uh, junkware, so we can easily get rid of those. It shouldn't be a problem. And also with Malwarebytes, you can see that's still scanning. So once that's finished, we'll find out uh, what's on the system with Malwarebytes. So as you can see that's the scan nearly complete there, it hasn't detected anything which is a really good uh, result as you can see it's just finished and we have got nothing on the system which is pretty good and uh, also again real-time uh, protection is Malwarebytes Premium which is their pro version which will also help you uh, detect stuff once you're surfing the internet. Now obviously the only thing that's changed here is the background and the wallpaper so I think uh, Zemina Anti-Malware has done a pretty good job. Now again it's not going to be foolproof, it's not going to protect you 100%, no malware uh, program, anti-malware program will protect you 100%. You need to use a variety of different programs. Okay, This is just another option for you guys to scan your systems and make sure they're clean. Okay. Now also you can still use Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes and all the other types of software if you wish. You can pick which one you like the best and go with that. Okay, I'm not going to be here today to try and pick out a winner and say which one are the best because I don't think there is a best type of anti-malware program out there. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up because I'm starting to ramble. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. Now, if you've got any problems with your computers or you've got any questions or you want to ask me something, then head over to the forums. You can always uh, post on there and it doesn't cost you nothing and I shall do my best to answer your questions on there, okay? Still see a lot of people sending me private messages and stuff like that. I won't get to those questions on there. I'm only answering them on the forums, okay? So anyway, thanks again. Bye for now.